Hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not the first video you're watching for me. I am Romina and this is going to be what I packed or what's in my hospital bag for labor and delivery. I am currently 36 weeks pregnant and I've actually been collecting and accumulating things for my hospital bags for I want to say like three weeks now since my baby shower. I actually do have a video for my baby shower vlog, so if you guys would like to see that or would like to keep up with anything newborn, definitely subscribe to my channel because there's a lot coming soon. Now I have seen a ton of videos both on TikTok and here on YouTube, and I feel like ever since I got into that nesting kick, I have not stopped just arranging and getting things ready for the baby's arrival. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I have here. I do have two bags here for baby and I. I was really thinking of just bringing one bag, but my duffel bag here ended up being a little bit on the smaller side. So I just thought that I would also bring baby's diaper bag, which isn't completely full, which is a good thing, just in case I want to bring stuff home. This is going to be my first baby, so I don't know exactly what all I'll need but I have been watching tons of videos like I mentioned and I think I have a pretty good idea I didn't want to overpack and bring a whole suitcase which is why I'm trying to be as minimal as possible here but without any further ado let's go ahead and get started with what is in my hospital bag all right so first off let's start off with the top thing here which is actually a blanket that my mother-in-law knitted for the baby so I definitely wanted to bring this to the hospital this could either be for the baby or or for whenever I'm holding him, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I might end up bringing another blanket for myself, um, but I thought that I definitely had to bring this one because this is so special since she knitted it for baby boy. So we're bringing this blanket. It's just a gray knitted blanket. This duffel bag is from the brand Bays. I actually got this, I think, during their Black Friday sale last year. And it's really cute. It's actually now discontinued, but it's a super cute duffel bag travel duffel bag. Victor has used this in the past when we travel so this is just what it looks like. Once again it is discontinued but they have a ton of duffel bags on their website so just wanted to mention that. I don't have anything on the outside pockets but it does have two on the side and then one zipper pocket in the front and one in the back which also acts as, as an opening for you to insert your luggage. And then what I like about this as well is also that I don't have my slippers in here, but um, I'm going to add them because I can always make this a little bit taller, like so. So I'll leave it open like this for now because I think I'll be able to put my slippers if I do that. Inside of my duffel bag, I have quite a few packing cubes. Some of them I got from Erin Condren, and then I have these two that came with my diaper bag, which shout out to my friend Eliana, because she's the one who got me this diaper bag and this little um, packing cube. So I'm going to take things out. I think I'll start with, I'll start with the smallest one here. So this is like kind of an extra type of thing for me for the hospital. And in here I have things like lip balm, this little Hello Kitty lip balm, some things to grab my hair. So a hair clip, I have some hair ties, this one that leaves no marks on your hair, and a scrunchie. I also have this comb, which I saw in a few videos that people recommended to get, which is a birthing comb. I believe that a lot of people who have natural labors end up using this and although that's probably not the route that I'll be going, I still wanted to get it because it essentially is supposed to help you with contractions and being able to deal with them since your brain can only really focus on one pain so by doing this you're kind of getting your brain to focus on another pain and kind of distracted. So um, I'll leave a link for this down below. I got it off of Amazon and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I use it, but I thought that would be like an extra thing to have. So that's what I have in the smaller packing cube. Then for toiletries, I have them in this bigger packing cube 
and these are things for myself i am missing just a few items which i'll mention i have a whole list of items that are missing right at this moment or that victor needs to pack so in here i have deodorant i want to get a smaller one but i have deodorant i have dry shampoo i have hand sanitizer shampoo and conditioner this is some hand and nail treatment cream so lotion for skincare i'm only bringing eye cream and moisturizer i have my contacts floss and of course i'm missing my toothpaste and toothbrush which i would like to just get one that i can go ahead and just throw out in the hospital instead of my actual one that i use every day and then last but not least i'm bringing my prenatals in this little vitamin thing that victor set up for me so that's in this packing cube so those are all the toiletries i'm bringing i don't think i honestly don't even know if i will be washing my hair at the hospital which is why i also brought dry shampoo and then the other stuff i'm being very minimal with although you guys know that i love doing my makeup and all of that i'm not bringing any makeup to the hospital i just don't think that it's necessary for me and if anything i might just bring like a plumping gloss what i do want to try to get done before going to the hospital which is going to be tricky to know exactly or to time that is to get my eyelashes done so lash extensions I think that will be enough for me and I definitely won't need makeup if I end up doing that. And that's something that somebody on TikTok actually suggested that if you didn't want to do your makeup or if you, at least you want to look a little bit put together to get eyelash extensions because I've had eyelash extensions before and if you had them, you know that you just wake up beautiful. <laughs> so um, I think that would definitely help out during that so I'm just putting everything back here but that's kind of my plan with um, that so that is in this toiletries cubby then I also have in here a hairbrush this is a wet brush and as you guys can see I love Hello Kitty from like everything Hello Kitty that I have here one more thing that was sort of an essential for a lot of people was a fan so i decided to pick this one up i've seen some fans and this one has two different three <laughs> oh i'm loving this right now because it's really hot so it has three different settings and I like it because you're also able to put water in here. Somebody mentioned that they used this for Disneyland. Jessica from Jam Beauty. I don't think that's actually her name anymore on, on YouTube, but I watched her hospital video and she mentioned how she uses this at Disneyland. So you're able to even put water and I feel like that mist is going to be nice during labor. So definitely I think an essential, especially because I am giving birth in July during summer. So I thought this would be an essential for that. Then I have these other packing cubes, which these are the ones that I mentioned from Erin Condren. First one, I have here all of my postpartum things. So I'm going to open this up. I have quite a bit of things and I know that the hospital gives you a lot as well. I just saw that a lot of people were saying that um, Although the hospital does give you a lot of these things, sometimes some of these items are better or make you feel a little bit more comfortable than the hospital one. So that's the reason why I did pick some of these things up. I also want to give a shout out to my friend Stephanie and my sister Ivana. My, my friend Stephanie did give me some of these items that she didn't end up using. And then my sister Ivana has been so great about just worrying about me and my postpartum care. So shout out to them. Okay, so the first thing I have here are some nursing pads. I didn't bring too many. I, I brought a few with the little pouch because I will try to breastfeed. 
at the hospital, so I brought that. Then going along with breastfeeding, I have the Earth Mama Nipple Butter. These, which I have seen all over TikTok, these are the Silverettes, which are essentially just these silver cups that you put on your nipples. Something about this being silver just heals your nipples right up. I got this off of Amazon and it literally had astonishing reviews, so I wanted to pick these up. They are on the pricey side, but I thought that they were essential, especially because I do want to breastfeed my baby. So I got this. I'm also bringing some of these always little diapers, adult diapers. These, I believe, are the always discreet, and this is just how they look like. So I got, I believe I'm bringing four of these. If I ever need anything else, Victor can always come home and pick up stuff, but I just thought I would bring some to start with. I also got this Freedom Mom Perry bottle, which I know that the hospital also provides you with, but this one, people were just saying that it's just much better. So I got this, and then the rest of the items are also from Freedom Mom. I have the perennial healing foam, the perennial cooling pad liners, and two of these instant cold therapy, so the really cold pads that go inside of the diaper here so i do have all of this because i just feel like it will make me feel a lot more comfortable at the hospital than not knowing what the hospital will provide what i heard you can do is call the hospital and ask them what it is that they provide so if you don't want to purchase all these things you could always call ahead of time and see exactly what they will give you this is what my postpartum little baggie looks like gonna put this back I'm really happy with everything and really all the research that I did because I feel like I'm pretty set or I hope you never know and then the last thing for me here is my bigger clothing packing cube in here I have everything that I will take for myself which I put this on the side here and I'll show you guys so I didn't want to be too excessive, but I am bringing um, a few essentials to just feel, once again, comfortable. I have this PJ set, this short PJ set. It is Leopard from Target. I just got this and it feels so soft. So I definitely wanted to get this. Then I have this cover that could be used as a nursing cover because I will most likely have family coming to visit after. So I feel like to give myself some privacy when um, breastfeeding, I would bring this. This also acts as a car seat cover. Um, and my mom got this for us. So I just decided to bring it in because I don't have anything else for that. Um, so I think this will do. Then I have some postpartum underwear. I'm bringing three of them. This is just what they look like. They just cinch at your waist. So I have a gray and two black ones. Then I wanted to bring some nursing bras. I do have this. Um, all of these are from Target. They're from the Auden brand. I have this one that has the cups here. And then I have these which don't have anything on it. I feel like these will be so comfortable to wear under my robe, my PJs, or even my going home outfit. So I bought two of these and then one of these. Then I wanted to bring some like grippy socks. So I found these at Target. They're just like a cow one. They're like grippy socks, just comfortable socks to wear at the hospital. I also have this gray robe that I got off of Amazon. This one was really inexpensive. I think it was only $20 and I have a bunch of different colors and even patterns. So I wanted to go ahead and bring that. I didn't necessarily want to get hospital gowns, like their own hospital gowns, but I think between my PJs and this robe, I think I should be fine. And once again, I don't want to bring too, too many things. Then I have my going home outfit, which is this like lounge set.
from Amazon. It is pink, super cute. And it has this opening here for breastfeeding. So if I have to breastfeed on the way home or right before, right before leaving the hospital, I can go ahead and do that. So this is the top. And it comes with pants, very flowy, so it will not be tight or anything. So that is my going home outfit. And then the last thing that I have in here is one of these postpartum belly wraps. I heard this is essential to bring um, for right after you give birth. This isn't necessarily to like snap back or anything. This is more for support and what I'll be wearing pretty much since the start of my postpartum journey. So this I got, or my sister actually got this for me from Target. And it's just the black one by the brand Upspring, I think. So yeah, that is all that I have and will be bringing for myself. Like I mentioned, I didn't want to bring too, too many things, but I think these are all essentials that will make me feel comfortable when being in the hospital after I give birth. So that is all that I have for me. And now let's move on to what I'm bringing for the baby. All right, now for the baby, I am bringing my diaper bag, which is from the brand Petunia Pickle Bottom. I think it's super cute. It's definitely me with the leopard and I just absolutely love it. So the things that I'm bringing for baby, they're not too many because once again, I know that the hospital gives you a lot of the stuff that you'll need. So I'm not bringing any diapers or wipes or anything like that. I'm just bringing a couple of outfits and other little things. So the first thing I have here is this sound machine, which I have seen everywhere as well as my friend who just gave birth earlier this year um, recommended me to bring. So this is the sound machine that's supposed to mimic sounds that they hear in the womb. So there's I think three sounds in here. And I just thought it would be essential to bring to the hospital. So I'm bringing this. Then I'm bringing a couple of pacifiers. I'm not sure at what time exactly I will be using these pacifiers. But I did want to bring different options. So I have in here one from the brand Mom. Then I have one from Tommy Tippy, And I just got these cute ones from... I believe the brand is Frigg. I feel like these will match super nicely with some of the outfits that I picked for him. I still don't know exactly which one his coming home outfit will be, but one of these passies will definitely go with that. So I'm bringing four passies, which I don't know if that's excessive or not, but um, I am bringing those. Then I have some pacifier wipes for the pacifiers just in case this which i saw a lot of people talking about on tiktok it's essentially a clean touch ink pad so there's no mess and i believe they were saying that they don't do this at the hospital anymore i know they used to do it quite a long time ago so i wanted to just go ahead and get these there's two so i can get his little footprint and handprint and there's no mess so this is perfect i'm actually doing like a whole like little scrapbook for him so i thought this would be essential to bring to the hospital so i'm bringing that i'm also bringing this swaddle blanket that says i love you it is so cute and i think it'd be perfect for either pictures um or anything like that so i am bringing this muslin blanket and then the last thing that I have in here really is this packing cube with his clothes. I have a few items in here. Most of them honestly are for pictures as well as I have some coming home outfits. Now I have a different variety of sizes and outfits here. 
because I really didn't know how big my baby is going to be. In the beginning, my mom thought that he was definitely going to be a preemie. So she has bought like a preemie outfit for me to take to the hospital. Um, so I have preemie outfit, a newborn outfit, and a zero to three months. Because at this point, I think he's going to be wearing something between newborn and zero to three months. But I still wanted to bring the preemie outfit. It doesn't take up any space. And just in case the other two don't fit him, I have that. So one of the first things I have here is a swaddle. This is a swaddle me swaddle that I'm bringing. I'm only bringing one to the hospital to try out. I'll show you guys his coming home outfits and then I'll show you guys the ones that I got for pictures. So this is the preemie outfit that I have for him, which it's so cute. It just says, I am so loved. And it has cute little rhinos. You have this top. It comes with three things. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of like a kimono looking style. Um, and these are the little pants. <laughs> so this is the preemie outfit that he'll be wearing if he ends up fitting into this. My newborn coming home outfit is just a sleeper, which I think is so cute. This is burgundy sleeper with a cute little bear if you guys know me you guys know i love the color red so this was perfect that's this newborn coming home outfit and the zero to three outfit i have for him is this um, ribbed long sleeve cream onesie that my sister got from baby gap with these pants which the pants are newborn so We'll see how that goes. So that is the third outfit. So those are his possible coming home outfits. And then I also have this cute little hat that I believe Victor's cousin knitted for him. So I wanted to bring that. There's also socks in here. So I'm bringing two pairs of socks for him, some mittens. And then the rest of these are pictures for pictures. So the first one I have here, well these two actually my mom got for him. Comes with this little hat and this kind of like overall type of thing. It's so cute. So that's the first outfit. And then I know he'll they'll be giving him like a onesie or something. So we have this blanket with his name, which if you guys still don't know what his name is, baby boy's name is Vito Franco. So we have a blanket with that and then his little hat that says Vito. So that is for pictures. And then last but not least, I personally picked this one from Target. It is from the brand organic little planet by quarters and i think it's the cutest little knitted piece it's so stinking cute and i can't wait to take pictures of him in this so yeah i have socks that match this as well as we can put maybe like a hat or something in there for him but that's pretty much all that i'm bringing for baby boy for clothing and for the rest yeah i don't think i'm missing anything else um Oh, actually I have one more thing in here in the pocket, which don't come for me that it's huge, but I'm bringing baby Aquaphor because I heard this is essential to put on baby before they start having like their first poops. So this is supposed to get those first poops right off because they seem to be really sticky. So I wanted to bring this Aquaphor in here as well. And let me check the rest of the pockets. No, that is all that I'm bringing in here for baby boy. And all that I have for this what's in my hospital bag. Actually, so the last couple of things I want to mention that I'm missing from my hospital bags are some things for me. So I would like to get some after ease drops that are supposed to help you with the cramps that come whenever you're breastfeeding, I believe, or that you get right after labor. I'm still missing my water bottle that I need to put in my bag. A toothbrush and toothpaste like I mentioned. Well, for both Victor and I. And I want to get some nail clippers for the babies because I heard that they just are born with the longest 
nails ever <laughs> so i would like to get some nail clippers for him and then for victor's bag these are the cloud slippers that i'll be bringing to the hospital i got these from costco but i believe they have these on amazon so i want him to bring my slippers some towels for us definitely going to need some snacks um, I am going to be vlogging, so my vlogging camera and the batteries for that. I want to take some pictures with my film and Polaroid camera, so that as well. A long phone charger. Possibly my laptop if I want to start editing some clips. Of course his clothes and the rest of the toiletries that he might need. And then last but not least, my pillow and my blanket. Oh, one thing that I completely forgot about that I do have is my nursing pillow. So let me go ahead and get that. All right, two things that I completely forgot about that I just saw outside. One of them is for the baby. So this is a little nightgown that a lot of people were mentioning was good to keep the baby in, especially if they have to keep checking him and undressing him and whatnot. It's just easier than having him in a sleeper. So this is the little nightgown I'll be taking for him. And then I have my nursing pillow here, which I will be using the My Breast Friend. I haven't taken out of the packaging or anything. I got this for my baby shower. Shout out to Martin and Evelyn. <laughs> Thanks for this. So yeah, this is the nursing pillow that I will be getting. I've heard super amazing reviews on this one. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out. So with that being said, I think that is everything. No, I have one more thing. So I just got these in the mail and I wanted to show you guys because I've heard a lot about collecting colostrum prior to you giving birth or prior to you being at the hospital. So I got this silicone colostrum collectors from the brand Haka. This I did talk to my doctor about and she said it was perfectly fine to start collecting colostrum starting at 36 weeks. So I got this in the mail today. I just turned 36 weeks and I think it will be perfect to collect, freeze, and then bring with me to the hospital. So I will be putting a few of these in my bag, grab them from the freezer once we're heading to the hospital and be all ready to go. So with that being said, that is the last thing that I will be taking to the hospital with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed or got some ideas for your hospital bag. I know that when starting to pack my hospital bag, I was watching a ton of videos and doing a ton of research. So I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. As well as subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. I'm going to be having a lot of newborn content coming up so definitely stay tuned for that and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!